Hello, everybody. It's time for our market update. I always look forward to these. Yes. So today we are going to talk about, you know, if you're thinking about moving, there's a huge pent up demand in the market from the last couple of years that people have um, not moved that wanted to. And we just wanted to talk a little bit about that pent up demand that all the experts say is coming in 2024. I think it is starting to arrive uh, every single day now. It seems to be pushing forward. Everybody seems to be looking at January right now. I know that, um, you know, if you're considering making a move in 2024 or between now and then, it's probably because something in your life has changed. So we always like to call it all the D's, death, divorce, diamonds, decline in health, diapers. So all the reasons that people move can be, there are all the D's. Yes. In fact, I've even heard them put a D in front of relocation, but uh, it really doesn't belong there, but it belongs in this report. Yes. Yeah, so the quote from uh, realtor.com says, no matter what interest rates and home prices do next, sometimes homeowners just have to move due to a new job, new baby, divorce, death, or some other life change. And those things have still been happening in this marketplace. But some people haven't moved that need to. I know. They are so brilliant. They always seem to hit the nail right on the head, don't they? <laughs> so relocation, have you gotten a new job and need to move? Um, upgrading, you want to upgrade your home? You need more room? You need a home office now? Maybe a gym? Maybe you need another bedroom for a family member or a new baby? Yes, who doesn't need that? The home <laughs> office and the gym. Right. Well, lots of... <laughs> People have needed the home office now because they have the opportunity to work at home. It's really wonderful. Um, downsizing, you know, you need to downsize. Your kids have left um, or you have stairs or you just need to, to downsize. Maybe you want to move away or retire. So downsizing, another reason that people need to move. Absolutely. Now let's get to your favorite part, the statistics. Oh, yes. Well, they've got a couple sets of statistics for you today. And one of them is that in the last two years, um, that the pent up uh, people that need to move can't wait any longer because in the last two years, just two years, 7 million people have reached age 65, 7 million births have happened. This is just in the U.S. Uh, 4 million deaths, 3 million marriages, 1.5 million divorces. It's funny how that works out. Half, well, about, half the amount exactly. About 50%. Uh-huh. Right? 4 million new jobs created and 50 million job switches. So all of those things are happening and all of those things usually mean a move. <laughs> yes, they do. 50 million job uh -huh. switches. That's uh -huh. a lot of people. And then for our Ventura County statistical update, which you know I love, um, this is changed from October of 22 to October of 23, so the past year. And number of home sales, of course, down about 21%. And the number of new listings down six and a half percent. And where did, where are the new listings down? Or the what did you say? The sales? The sales are down and the new listings are down. But I'll tell you, the market feels like the new listings are down more than seven and a half percent. We have seen some inventory. We've gotten a little bit more coming on the market. And you know, the holidays, the market tends to slow down a little bit, which is a great time to be in the market because buyers that are in the market during the holidays are serious buyers. So if you put your home on the market, you're more likely to attract a serious buyer um, and not be in the frenzy that they're projecting the spring is going to be. Yes, it's one of those deals where, oh my gosh, my home's been on the market 90 days. And then all of a sudden, three offers develop out of thin air. Mm -hmm. And there are still plenty of buyers in the marketplace, well, and sellers, but not quite enough sellers for the buyers that, that we hear about looking for things. Um, the median sales price, which of course goes against all the experts that said the market's going to crash, market's going to crash. Uh, home prices are up 7.25%. So that prices are up. The market did not crash based on supply and demand inventory. Even with the interest rates have gone you know, up, that sales prices have still gone up too. And rates today, they're back down around 75 so we'll see what they do, but it's really never about the price or the interest rate, frankly. It's about how much it's going to cost every month. And based on the rental prices around here, don't wait to buy real estate. <laughs> buy real estate and wait. Yeah, fix, hold on to it. Yes. Yeah, fix your monthly costs because 
Um, a known is better than an unknown. Now, I saw a consensus of the major players like the National Mortgage Bankers Association, National Association of Realtors, all these people combined came up with a consensus of about 4% appreciation in 2024. Yeah, so I we'll, think they're wrong. Yeah, we'll we'll see. I don't know. We like to report the news, but I don't know. Their crystal ball is really good or a little cloudy. <laughs> um, the other pe thing that people ask me about a lot is the um, average sold price, what it is. And it is just over uh, around a million two. So a million two is the average sales price, and that's in Ventura County. Well, wow, that's a big leap for a first-time buyer. Yes, it is. So... You know, we love to talk about real estate. We are out uh, doing real estate, looking at property, talking to clients every single day. And if you're thinking about making a move, you know we want to talk to you and help you make a move strategy. We're here, GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. And wanted to make sure you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone.